We all know how difficult it is to truly understand someone unless we have the opportunity to live their experiences. So to better understand what it's like to raise a child with EB, we asked one mother to share her experiences with us. Um, accompanied by the incomparable John Baptiste, I'm honored to share her story. You ready, John? I'm ready, Renee. My son, Salim, is the light of my life. Salim spent the first three and a half years of his life in an orphanage in India, but in March 2018, I completed his adoption process and was able to bring my little boy home to North Carolina. At the time, I knew he'd been born with EB, but what I didn't understand was how my world was about to change. Salim has recessive dystrophic EB. It ravages not only the skin we can see, but his insides as well. How can I possibly describe a day in our life? It's filled with bandage changes, tube feeds, ordering supplies, countless medications, and fighting for services. But that's not all. It's also filled with Salim's laughter, beautiful sense of wonder, and endless love. I adopted my son knowing that I will likely outlive him. So we savor each moment a little more, knowing that it is truly a gift. The reward of watching him work through the toughest of days fills my heart. Thanks to Salim, I know more, I see more, and I love more than I ever knew I could. And I will keep on loving him with the fiercest, deepest, most unrelenting love in the world for every single moment I have him. Laura and Salim, thank you for sharing your story. The way you live every day and love every day helps us learn and understand a little bit more. So let's do what we can to find a cure for EB. If you haven't already, please donate. Let's heal EB. Thank you.